Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you everything I got from Nordstrom Rack for their Boxing Day sale. It was, I think, called Clear the Rack. Makes sense. So I went in. I'd never been in before. Well, I had been in before, but I hadn't really bought anything. I bought two pairs of shoes from there before, so um, I went in specifically looking for their clothing. I know they have some trendy stuff, and I wanted to see what their price points were like. So they were significantly cheaper than Aritzia. I got probably triple the amount of stuff for $100 less. So um, it all looked really cute, but like I said, I wasn't able to try any of it on because the dressing rooms were closed due to COVID. So I just went ahead and I bought everything that I picked out and we'll try it on together and let's see what works and what doesn't. Because I do have a 45 day return policy there, which is fabulous. So I'm able to try everything on and whatever I don't like, I can just take back at a different time. So um, let's see what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was a pair of jeans. These are Hudson jeans. I don't own anything from this brand. They're really cute, slightly distressed, a little bit stretchy. And I thought it was so funny that they came in my size, which is 26, and they said Krista on the back. So um, obviously I have to get them. <laughs> so they have a little bit of distressing on the knee. They are skinny and I would say medium rise. But yeah, they look really cute. And like I said, I don't own anything from Hudson, so we will see how they fit and how they work. Um, next up is a pair of Levi jeans. I have lots of jeans from Levi. That's one of my go-to spots. These ones are kind of, I don't know, a little bit retro looking, but they also have some distressing on them and they are super skinny mid-rise. So those will be great. I'm pretty sure those will fit because like I said, I do have a bunch of stuff from Levi and 26 is my size though. So those should work out just fine. Um, next I picked up just a pair of basic black leggings. Go on Jade. Um, they are nothing fancy. They are just black. I go through black leggings like crazy. I wear them all the time. Um, especially just bumming around the house. So I use them. They usually like once they get old, I'll use them for like painting pants and stuff like that. And then eventually they will go to the trash. So Jade, these were, um, on sale for 14 bucks can't beat that so i grabbed a pair we will see if i like them or not and then i picked up just a navy blue top it's kind of capped here with some ruffles and then it's cuffed at the sleeves it's really stretchy and it's size small would you stop oh um the brand is tahari and we will see Again, I don't own anything from that brand. I've never heard of it. I just went in and picked exactly what I liked. So, um, Next up are another pair of leggings. These are from Halogen, except these ones are a little bit fancier. These have pleats going down the front, in the middle of the front and at the back, and it does have a little tiny opening down here for like if you're wearing boots or something. So everything, I think just about everything I picked up was on sale. And these just have an elastic waistband. I don't know whether I'm gonna like them. Normally I just like regular black leggings, but I was like, you know what? It might be cute to have something a little bit on the fancier side for leggings, but I don't know. Um, next I picked up just a camel color top. This is from Abound. It's also in small. It's almost like it was turned inside out. It's fleecy on the outside. It's really cute, super soft, and it's cropped. So I think I will really like that one. Then I actually bought this for a lingerie shoot. It's size medium because it looked really small. I thought this would look cute, maybe with nothing underneath. It's completely sheer, but it might also look cute with like a black bra if I'm going out or something like that. But the intention behind it was for a photo shoot and it was on super sale. It was like five bucks, I don't know. So I grabbed it. I picked up, this is French Connection sweat, sweater, and it is in size small. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks insanely large. It's very, very stretchy, so I'm assuming it's meant to be oversized. 
and yeah i really like the oatmeal color and i liked um like the detail and it feels really soft and nice so i grabbed that and then i grabbed just a green sweater this is from sweet romeo it's also size small this one i know for sure rang in cheaper than the tag even said because she told me so again just like a nice this is a lighter knit i don't know if it's wool or not um it's actually acrylic so <laughs> there we go i thought it was really cute and then i grabbed a white basic tank this one's a little bit longer. I don't know. Well, we'll see how it works. If it's a bust, this one I know was on sale for, well, it's on clearance for $4.42 and then there was an extra like 25% off. So it was like a $3 tank top. So cheaper than Value Village and you get something brand new. So. Next, I picked up this red bodysuit. Again, this was intended for, hold on. Ew, excuse me. This was intended for a possible photo shoot as well. This is a bodysuit. It has a it's double lined, but it has lace over the top. It will obviously look really cute with you know maybe high waisted jeans or leggings or whatever. Again, it was on super sale, so I picked it up. It is from Leith, and it is in size small. This one, I guess I should also note, it's a little bit stretchy, but it doesn't have much stretch to it, so. We'll see. And then I picked up. Oh my god. Down. I was like, what did I pick up? It is a t-shirt bodysuit. So it has more of like a square cut neck that comes down in a little bit of a V. This is super stretchy. It's almost like spandex. So I think it will look really cute. And this is also from Leaf and also size small. And all of this stuff was on the clearance rack, so can't beat the prices. And last but not least, I picked up, actually a shirt similar to what I'm wearing right now, a crop top that is um, waffle knit, long sleeve. This one does have the V-neck. This one has the round neck. I don't know what that sticker is. Um, and it is from Abound as well. And I grabbed this one in medium. I don't know whether I did that on purpose or not but we will try it on. This one also has the folds in the front. I think I picked it up and I looked at the small and it looked way too small, so I grabbed the medium. Again, I was just using my best judgment because I wasn't able to try anything on and I did not realize that until I went to go to the change room and they were closed. So I just decided to buy everything that I had picked up and deal with the return situation later. So everything was on sale for the most part. like the most expensive thing I bought actually not really realizing were these Krista jeans that were a hundred dollars but everything else was like 10 20 15 11 oh that tank top ended up being three dollars and 32 cents like you can't even make it for that um forty dollars 25 dollars so everything was super reasonably priced and actually the other pair of Levi's the Levi jeans were regular, like at $50, and usually they have them on sale for 50 bucks at the store. So that wasn't any big savings. That was just a regular price. Um, but, but yeah, besides that, everything else was really, really reasonable. I was expecting, um, I was expecting it to come out to double what it actually ended up costing me. So as far as price goes and the cuteness of the clothing, 10 out of 10, I loved it. And the shopping experience was really really good too. I just poked around the store. It's kind of like a, a Winners or like a Marshalls or you know something like that where it's all racks with a bunch of different stuff. So you kind of have to be prepared to go in and dig. Um, but it's all organized nicely and stuff like that. So I went in and I spent probably a good hour in there just looking through everything and just going through stuff. So I will definitely be back, that's for sure. Uh, let's get this stuff tried on and see how it fits. Okay, so first up we have the Hudson jeans. These are a little bit long in the length. 
They fit really nice. They are really nice and stretchy. I did not realize that they were low rise denim. So I will definitely be taking these back because I already know that I will not wear them. But the blue top, this one is the one that has the like kind of ruffle on the shoulder and then the, the cuffs is really cute. So I'm gonna keep that. And if only the denim was a little higher, I would have kept those as well. Okay, so next up we have the green bodysuit and the Levi jeans. And I knew that the Levi jeans would fit perfectly. Um, the bodysuit also fits really, really nice. And I like the color. And again, you could wear it with leggings or jeans, whatever you want. It's super, super stretchy. So I am going to keep both of these items. Okay, so next up is the green sweater. I just threw it on over top of what I already had. Um, it's a little bit on the big side. I'm not 100% sure whether I'm gonna keep it or not. It is cute, it was cheap. I'm sure I will wear it at least a couple of times. And usually I just tuck it, but you can see it is a little bit on the long side. Okay, sweater number three. Again, I don't know whether I like this one. It feels a little bit weird in the shoulders. I don't know whether that's just from being on the hair or not. It's super soft. I don't mind me, I still have green underneath. Um, it's like fleece on both sides, so it's really, really soft. I might, I might grab it in a different color. I don't know, maybe it's just the color that's throwing me off. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to keep this one. We will see. Okay, so here is the red bodysuit intended for photo shoots, but it's actually really, really adorable. And I put it on with the pleated leggings that have, I don't know if you can see, have the little cutouts on the shin. Both fit really, really nice and are really comfortable. Not positive on the leggings because I can't really see them on until afterwards. Jade. But I think the lace top is really cute. <laughs> Next up is the incredibly oversized sweater. Again, this is a size small. I can't tell whether it's a good oversized or a bad oversized, so I haven't made a decision on this. The other part is just the um, cheap leggings. They fit great. They're super high, which I wasn't expecting them to be quite so high. I don't really care. They're just leggings. But I don't know about the sweater. We will. We will see. It is quite large, even though it is small. I'm sure if they would have had an extra small, I would have grabbed it. So I'm assuming that it only came in small, medium, and large. But Okay, and here we have this kind of like waffle crop with the fold in the middle. It cannot be unfolded. It is like sewn like that. And this is the medium one that I grabbed. So obviously I made the right decision because this is fairly tight for a medium. 
I'm assuming this small would have been way too small. And here is the see-through top that I intended for photo shoots. I just threw a black bra on. It actually looks really cute. It's got a little bit of ruffling here at the wrists. And again, this one was also a medium and I'm glad I picked a medium. Last but not least, here is the tank top turned dress. This is insanely long. I think I'm gonna keep it for photo shoots and just use it as a long tank. I don't know why it would be so long. I wasn't prepared for this. I have dark colored panties on. That's it, that concludes my Nordstrom Rack haul. Overall, I think I did fairly well. I do wish the change rooms were open. Um, Nordstrom Rack is about 50 minute drive from where I am right now, so it's quite a hike. I do go into the city often anyways though, so I will. Returning won't be a problem, it's just making the time to go down there and do it, but I do wish that they were open because then I could have left the stuff that I didn't want right at the store, but I guess. You win some, you lose some. So there's the last tank top dress. And I've got one more swimsuit try on coming for you. And um, yeah, so I will see you in my next video. And as always, you can find me on Instagram at Krista underscore T and come and say hi on my OnlyFans. It is gonna be linked down below and I will see you guys again soon.